Imagine a world where time travel is possible. Today, we take a glamorous leap back to the 1950s. With a twist, we're bringing the iconic Dita Von Teese along for the ride. Known for her captivating style and timeless beauty, Dita epitomizes the allure of vintage glamour. But how would this modern-day queen of burlesque have navigated the sparkling social scene of the 1950s? From her diet and beauty routine to her fashion choices, join me as we blend history with imagination to explore a day in the life of Dita Von Teese in the 1950s. Get ready for a journey filled with elegance, charm, and a touch of retro magic. Let's begin. Dita Von Teese, born Heather Renee Sweet in West Branch, Michigan, has gracefully twirled her way into the hearts of millions. From a young girl fascinated by the golden age of cinema and vintage lingerie to the reigning queen of modern burlesque. Dita's journey is as captivating as her performances. In the early 2000s, she became a trailblazer in reviving the burlesque art form, which had faded since its mid-20th century heyday. Her performances, characterized by a blend of classic Hollywood glamour and contemporary sensibilities, redefine public perceptions of burlesque, elevating it from its underground roots to a celebrated form of high art. Beyond the stage, Dita has made her mark as a fashion icon known for her signature retro style that pays homage to the 1940s and 1950s fashion. Her love for vintage clothing, meticulous attention to detail, and her classic beauty have made her a muse for numerous designers and photographers. Dita's influence extends into the world of literature and entrepreneurship as well. She's authored books that dive into the realms of beauty and burlesque, offering insights into her world. As an entrepreneur, she's been involved in various ventures, including a lingerie line, perfumes, and even a namesake cocktail. Today, Dita Von Teese continues to enchant audiences worldwide with her unique blend of burlesque artistry, fashion, and glamour. Her life is a testament to the power of self-expression and embracing one's individuality. As we dive deeper into her world, we will uncover the routines and preferences that keep this timeless icon at the pinnacle of grace and elegance. The embodiment of poise and elegance, Dita Von Teese's commitment to her health and fitness is as disciplined as it is inspiring. Let's take a closer look at how she maintains her iconic figure amidst a bustling lifestyle. Firstly, Dita's diet is a balanced blend of moderation and indulgence. She doesn't believe in extreme dieting, but instead focuses on portion control and eating a variety of foods. Her meals typically include plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. She's known to enjoy a mostly plant-based diet, but doesn't shy away from occasional treats, embodying her philosophy of enjoying life's pleasures in moderation. Hydration is another key aspect of her diet. Dita emphasizes the importance of drinking plenty of water throughout the day, often infused with cucumber or citrus for an extra zing. This not only keeps her skin glowing, but also aids in overall health and well-being. When it comes to fitness, Dita has a diverse routine that includes a mix of ballet, pilates, and yoga. She appreciates the way ballet exercises sculpt the body, especially admiring the strength and grace of ballerinas. Pilates and yoga, on the other hand, help her maintain flexibility and core strength, crucial for her demanding burlesque performances. Dita's approach to exercise isn't just about maintaining her physique, it's also a form of self-care. She often speaks about the mental and emotional benefits of regular exercise, highlighting how it helps her stay grounded and focused. Interestingly, Dita shies away from conventional gym workouts, preferring to exercise at home or in specialized studios. This allows her to tailor her fitness routine to her schedule, ensuring that she stays consistent despite her busy itinerary. In essence, Dita Von Teese's approach to diet and fitness is about balance, self-care, and finding joy in the process. It's not just about looking a certain way, but feeling strong, healthy, and vibrant. As we will see, this philosophy is somewhat in contrast with the more rigid and structured approach to beauty and fitness that was prevalent in the 1950s. 
Dita Von Teese maintains her figure with a special green smoothie, which she consumes daily, sometimes even twice a day. This glowing green drink is a key part of her diet, along with a small vegetarian-based lunch and regular dinner. The smoothie recipe she follows is from the book The Beauty Detox by celebrity nutritionist Kimberly Schneider. This routine, combined with her high-energy burlesque performances, contributes significantly to her fitness and shape. And I've tried the smoothie before. It's actually really good. I kind of miss making it, so I want to start making it again. I was having one a day, and I really liked it. Dita Von Teese's beauty is reminiscent of the silver screen sirens of the past, yet her approach to skincare and makeup is thoroughly modern. Let's unveil the secrets behind her iconic look. Skincare is the foundation of Dita's beauty routine. She emphasizes the importance of a consistent skincare routine, which includes cleansing, toning, and moisturizing. Dita often speaks of her love for gentle cleansers and hydrating serums, believing in the power of keeping the skin well nourished and moisturized. She is also a proponent of sun protection, never stepping out without applying a broad spectrum sunscreen. And I read that she wore like an SPF 100 every day. Moving to her makeup, Dita's look is defined by a few signature elements. A flawless porcelain complexion, dramatic winged eyeliner, and her trademark red lipstick. For her complexion, Dita prefers high quality foundation and loose powders that provide a matte finish. She's known to use a light hand with her foundation, aiming for a natural yet polished look. Her dramatic winged eyeliner is a key aspect of her vintage inspired look. She has mastered the art of the perfect cat eye, often using a liquid gel liner to achieve a precise and intense black line. This is paired with well-defined eyebrows, which Dita shapes and fills to help frame her face beautifully. Dita's lips are almost always adorned with a bold red lipstick, a nod to the glamour of the 1940s and 50s. She prefers matte and long-lasting formulas, carefully applying the lipstick to achieve a perfect pout. Dita often mentions the importance of finding the right shade of red for one's skin tone, advocating that there's a red lipstick for everyone. Her beauty routine extends beyond makeup. Dita is known for her meticulously styled hair, often seen in elegant waves or sleek updos. She uses a range of styling products to maintain the health and shine of her hair, along with regular visits to a trusted hairstylist to keep her signature look in impeccable shape. Dita Von Teese's beauty routine is a blend of discipline and precision, a deep appreciation for vintage aesthetics. Her meticulous approach results in a look that is both timeless and distinctly her own. As we step back into the 1950s, we'll see how this modern routine compares and contrasts with the beauty standards of that era. Dita Von Teese's favorite beauty products include the Dior Capture Total Foundation and Cody Air Spun Face Powder. These products align with her signature look that emphasizes a flawless complexion, enhancing her vintage glamour aesthetics. And I love that foundation. It's one of my favorites. It does give you a nice dewy glow. And it is really nice with the Cody powder. The foundation helps in achieving a flawless porcelain-like complexion, which is key to her vintage look. She applies it with precision to ensure a natural yet polished appearance. And the Cody Airspun face powder complements the foundation by setting the makeup and providing a matte finish, essential for her classic, elegant style. Dita Von Teese is known for her love of classic red lipsticks, and she has a few favorite that embody old Hollywood glamour. Her preferred choices include Dior Diorific Lipstick in Dolce Vita, Guerlain Kiss Kiss in Creamy Satin Finish in Rouge Kiss, and a YSL Red Lipstick and a MAC lipstick in both Lady Danger and Ruby Woo. Each of these lipsticks offer a unique finish and shade, contributing to her iconic vintage look. Dita's skincare routine, as detailed in her book, Leave Your Beauty Mark, The Ultimate Guide to Eccentric Glamour, relies heavily on Eminence organic skincare products. Her routine is particularly focused on addressing dry and sensitive skin, which she manages with a trio of Eminence products, including the Coconut Age Corrective Moisturizer, Apricot Calendula Nourishing Cream, and Linden Calendula Treatment Cream. And I've used these before. They're actually really good moisturizers and they smell really good and they're all natural. So I do highly recommend them if you're looking for something. I think Madonna uses it as well. In addition to these specific products, Dita emphasizes the importance of a few basic beauty rules in her routine, such as never going to bed without washing her face, 
always wearing sunscreen and avoiding smoking. She also prefers natural skincare products which aligns with her use of the m &Ns line. These products and practices contribute significantly to her iconic, glamorous look, both on and off the stage. For more detailed insights into the Dita Von Teese skincare routine, I would definitely check out her book, Your Beauty Mark. It's actually really good. It's really thick and there's tons of information in there. As the clock hands whirl backwards, we find ourselves in the vibrant era of the 1950s. Imagine the world as it was then. The jazz music, the classic cars, the birth of rock and roll. It was a time of transformation and elegance. How would the glamorous Dita Von Tees have fit into this picturesque world? Would the dietary habits, fashion sensibilities, and beauty routines of the 50s have shaped her differently? As we dive into this fascinating decade, we'll explore how the trends and norms of the 1950s may have influenced Dita's lifestyle, from her dining table to her dressing room. So step back into our time machine and let's embark on the imaginative journey through the golden age of Hollywood and beyond. Beyond. Welcome to the 1950s, an era marked by its post-war prosperity and significant cultural shifts. This was a decade of contrast where traditional values met the burgeoning modern world. Let's immerse ourselves in the societal scene of this dynamic period and imagine how Dita Von Teese might have navigated it. In the 1950s, society was experiencing a wave of optimism following the end of World War II. Economic growth led to increased consumerism, and people embraced new styles of music, fashion, and entertainment. Jazz clubs, ballrooms, and the rise of rock and roll characterized the vibrant nightlife. In this setting, one could picture Dita with her love for classic glamour and gracing the dance floors of elegant ballrooms or the sophisticated jazz clubs, embodying the era's chic and stylish persona. However, this era was also marked by traditional gender roles. Women were often expected to focus on homemaking and family, a stark contrast to today's more diverse and independent female roles. For someone like Dita Von Teese, known for her strong, independent persona, navigating these societal norms would have been an interesting challenge. She might have been a pioneer, pushing the boundaries of what was expected of women in terms of fashion, entertainment, and personal expression. The 1950s were also a time of the new television and film industries. Hollywood's golden age was in full swing, with glamorous movie stars setting the trends. Dita, a modern icon of vintage style, would likely have been influenced by the likes of Marilyn Monroe, Audrey Hepburn, and Elizabeth Taylor. Her fashion and beauty choices might have mirrored the elegant gowns, tailored suits, and the classic new look silhouette popularized by Christian Dior. In the 1950s, with this blend of traditional values and new cultural experiences, would have been a fascinating backdrop for Dita Von Teese. Her presence in the era could have been both a reflection of the time's glamour and an avant-garde push against the, its conventional boundaries. As we travel back to the 50s, we find a world where diet and fitness were distinctly different from today's practices. Let's explore these aspects of the era and imagine how Dita Von Teese may have adapted to them. In the 50s, diets were generally more balanced and less processed compared to today. Meals were often homemade, emphasizing whole foods. People consume fewer calories daily, partly due to the limited availability of fast food and snack options. The typical diet included smaller portion sizes and focused on regular home-cooked meals with occasional desserts. Snacking wasn't as prevalent as it is today. Fitness routines in the 1950s were quite different as well. They involved more physical activity in daily life, like housework, which was more labor-intensive than it is today. Additionally, some popular fitness trends of the era included calisthenics, which are body weight exercises that were often performed at home or in group classes. These exercises were great for flexibility, strength, and maintaining a slim figure. Another interesting aspect of 1950s fitness was the popularity of slimnastics, a form of exercise done to music often found on vinyl records. These routines combined with the fun music with the effectiveness of physical exercise. 
Hula hooping was also a major fitness trend known for its benefits in toning the abdominal area and achieving the desired slim waist of the era. That makes me want to try hula hooping again. I feel like it is actually a good exercise for your core. And this exercise saw a massive surge in popularity with millions of hula hoops sold within just a few months of their introduction. Stationary bikes began to gain popularity in the 50s as well. Though not as widespread as in later decades, they provided an effective indoor option for cardiovascular exercise. In this context, Dita Von Teese in the 1950s might have embraced these dietary and fitness trends. Her meals would likely have been home cooked and in balance with less reliance on processed foods. For fitness, she may have enjoyed the calisthenics, hula hooping, or even slimnastics, blending her love for dance and music with exercise. The physicality of daily life in the 50s combined with these fitness routines would have complemented her disciplined approach to health and wellness. The 1950s marked an era of elegance and refined beauty, setting the stage for a unique approach to cosmetics and grooming. Let's explore the beauty products and routines of this decade and imagine how Dita Von Teese may have indulged in them if she was a star in the 1950s. The 1950s beauty routine was regimented and thorough, often involving daily and weekly rituals. A typical week might include dedicated days for facials, pedicures, hair removal, and hair washing and manicures. For instance, Mondays could be at at-home facials, focusing on cleansing the face with cream and applying a face mask. Tuesdays might have been reserved for pedicures and foot exercises, while Wednesdays could involve hair removal routines. Thursdays were often hair washing days and Fridays were set aside for manicures. The weekends allowed women to brush up on any grooming details and enjoy the fruits of their weekly beauty labor. Makeup in the 1950s emphasized a heavier look compared to previous decades, with liquid foundations and loose powders becoming a commonplace on dressing tables. The decade witnessed the rise of iconic cosmetics brands and the introduction of new products like non-smear lipstick. Pastel shades, particularly pink, gained popularity, especially among younger women with Audrey Hepburn famously declaring her love for pink. Iconic makeup elements included the cat eye or winged eyeliner, which added glamour and was often preferred over heavier eyeshadow. Mascara was another essential product, with brands like Maybelline leading the market. Unlike today, mascara was primarily applied to the upper lashes. The 1950s also saw the introduction of various cosmetic tools like eyelash curlers and eyebrow stencils, which helped women achieve the look of their favorite starlets. Dita Von Teese, with her love for vintage glamour, might have embraced these beauty rituals and products. Her meticulous approach to beauty aligned well with the disciplined and elaborate beauty routines of the 50s. She might have enjoyed the ritualistic nature of the weekly beauty schedule and the, the transformative power of makeup that defined the era's aesthetics. I feel like Dita Von Teese now is almost embodying the 1950s lifestyle with her exercise routines and her beauty routine. The detailed nature of these beauty routines and the emphasis on specific beauty days reflect a time when personal grooming was an integral part of a woman's week. This approach to beauty, combined with the iconic makeup styles of the 50s, would have complemented Dita's love for vintage aesthetics perfectly. As we step into the 1950s, a decade renowned for its elegance and femininity in fashion, we can can't help but imagine how Dita Von Teese with her impeccable style would have embraced these trends. The 1950s fashion was characterized by its diversity ranging from the ultimate feminine to the advent of more relaxed androgynous looks. The iconic new look by Christian Dior and introduced in the late 1940s continued to influence fashion in the 50s. This style featured fit and flare silhouettes with cinched waist and full flouncy skirts that celebrated femininity. Dita, known for her love of vintage silhouettes, would have likely adorned these designs, possibly gracing events in elegant, waist-defining dresses that flared out dramatically from the waistline. Denim jeans also started to become popular in the 50s thanks to cultural icons like James Dean and Marlon Brando. Marilyn Monroe was also seen wearing them. This shift represented the rise of teenage culture and rock and roll. While it's a more casual look than Dita typically embraces, it's interesting to ponder how she might have styled these for a more casual yet glamorous appearance. Gingham prints and A-line midi skirts were other key trends. 
The gingham print, playful and fun, was a significant departure from the more serious fashion of the previous decade. A-line midi skirts, often worn by schoolgirls in the 50s, became a fashion staple, known for their versatility and youthful charm. Dita could have incorporated these elements into her ensemble, perhaps for a daytime event or a more laid-back appearance. Bandeau bikinis and poolside glamour were often epitomized by stars like Brigitte Bardot and Grace Kelly. These styles featured figure-flattering swimsuits, oversized sunglasses, and silk hair wraps, defined luxury beachwear. Imagining Dita in this setting, one can envision her embodying this glamorous beach look with elegance and poise. The 1950s offered a rich tapestry of styles from the ultra-feminine to the classically chic. Dita Von Teese, with her flair her vintage glamour, would have had a plethora of options to choose from, each allowing her to showcase her unique style while paying homage to the fashion of the era. As we traveled through time, we're reminded of the enduring charm and elegance of Dita Von Teese. Her style, a seamless blend of vintage glamour and modern sophistication, transcends eras, proving that true elegance is timeless. From the meticulous attention to her diet and fitness routines to her carefully curated beauty routine, her impeccable fashion sense, Dita embodies the persona that would have found its place both in the modern world and the nostalgic allure of the 50s. Her journey is a testament to the power of personal style and its ability to transcend times and trends. And thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you want me to do any other time traveling videos where I choose a modern celebrity and take them back in time to a different decade. And let me know in the comments below. All right, and don't forget to check out some of my other vintage videos.